First is, uh, is Richard Simmons, uh, who needs little introduction, but is a national leading fitness expert and advocate who has helped millions of overweight men and women lose close to three million pounds by adopting sensible, balanced eating programs and exercise regimes that are energetic, fun, and motivating. Mr. Simmons has prevailed over his own weight problems as a child and has helped tailor fitness workouts for all Americans, including the physically challenged and older Americans. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Richard Simmons, and I never took a PE class in my life. I was overweight, a little lethargic, a little short. At St. Louis Cathedral School in New Orleans, it was all sports, and I was not a jock. I spent my elementary school my high school and my college sitting on the benches watching everyone play sports. And to get back at them, while they were playing sports, I ate their lunch. <laughs> I was 268 pounds. I tried a lot of ways to lose weight, including taking laxatives, throwing up, starving, because I never took PE. I was 23 years old. When I took my first exercise class, I was bitten by the sweat bug. 25 years ago, I opened up, thir excuse me, 36 years ago, I opened my exercise studio up in Los Angeles, and there I began my pilgrimage to help people. Overweight, out of shape, 200 pounds, 400 pounds, 800 pounds, and I've dedicated all these years to giving them some support and some self-esteem. Five years ago, my mail shifted dramatically. I get thousands of emails a day. But when the No Child Left Behind Act came about, I got lots of letters from parents and children saying, my kid is overweight, my kid is going to the doctors, my kid has high cholesterol. So what I did was, I went on shows like The Today Show, Ellen, David Letterman, Howard Stern, and I put a four-page questionnaire on richardsimmons.com, and 60,000 people filled out that questionnaire. And I learned what was happening in the schools in the United States of America. I took a trip to Washington to meet Congressman Womp and Congressman Kine. I told him my ideas. I began another campaign on my website asking people to write their congressmen and presidential candidates in order to let everyone know how important this is. And here I stand with a vision today. Everyone is not a jock. Everyone cannot play sports. Everyone cannot run. But everyone can be fit. It's not important if you're a jock. It's important that you have your health, and our children right now do not have it. I have a vision. I know a very economical way to bring fitness to every child in every school in the United States of America. There are hundreds of thousands of certified fitness instructors who travel around and teach classes I want to head and be part of this committee to train teachers to go into the school systems and teach the three things that we all need. We all need cardio, we all need strength training, and we all need stretching. Every school that I've been in, I put the kids' musics on, I get them going, they feel great, and as Congressman Wap and Kine said, when you're feeling great about yourself, when you have self-esteem and self-respect for yourself, there isn't nothing you can do. I'm not 268 pounds anymore, and I'm still not a jock. But I am fit, and I have dedicated my life to this. And I'm hoping that the committee today will know there is no other way to do this, or our children will get more sick. And there's a statistic that says our children today will not live as long as their parents. What have we done? What have we done to the kids of the United States of America? This is wrong. And I will dedicate the rest of my life, and Chairperson George Mueller, I just may run for office to help this really get through and not have one kid feel lousy about himself because he can't throw a ball. One kid who cannot run a mile, he cannot be made fun of. We have to support him in what he can do. Every child can dance. Every child can dance. I've seen it. I travel 200 days a year, and I see what happens when the music goes on, their music, not mine. When the music goes on, they feel so good about themselves, they go back in that schoolroom and they learn. I do not want 
any child in America to have my childhood because it was taken away from me because I just wasn't good enough. Well, I'm good enough now. And I've devoted, I'm 60 years old now, and I've devoted my life to this, and I will devote my life to this to the day I die. And I hope that one day every kid gets to feel the self-esteem and self-respect that I have. God bless you all, and God bless the children of America. Thank you very much. Thank you.